This Lash Wars web series is brought to you and sponsored by the Nisa Association, The Lash Collection, Sweet Lash, Illumino Lashes, Artistic Lash, Alicia from eyelashextensions.co.nz and Joy from Brisbane Lashes. Here's a special mention to the Nisa Association sponsors who helped make the Las Vegas Lash Wars event possible. The afternoon of the second day of Lash Battles commences with the second round of the volume competition. All volume contestants must use NM Beauty Lash Extensions and Go. There were various lengths of lashes provided by NM Beauty for the competition. The shape of the lashes were in C curl and the diameter was in 0.07 millimeters. Contestants prep their clients' eyelashes by cleansing, priming and taping down their lower lashes. Meet Volume Round 2 Contestants. The contestants set up their models, tables and equipment. My name is Kelly Clark. Um, I am res- representing my own company. It's called Reverie Lash. We're going to be opening, opening a studio in um, Utah County. As I was thinking about who I wanted to use for my model, I called my sister first because I knew she would just lay there and do what I needed and I wouldn't have to worry about what her eyes are doing or anything like that so she and she's my support system while I'm here. Kelly is using a volume ring which fans out the volume strip lashes over the dome of the top of the attachment. Fanning the lashes can take a lot of practice and any tool to assist in making volume lashes faster is valued by a lash tech. It's really nerve-wracking. Um, I feel like it went better than I thought it was going to. I was really, really nervous, but luckily I had some music, and so I zoned out and just went for it. I learned from Minkies about six years ago, so I've been doing it off and on for six years. It was like a love-hate relationship, and ever since Volume came out, I fell back in love with lashes, and so. I've been doing volume for about six months now, so not too long. I think just taking it a step further and going into the 6D lash. I think on our everyday clients, we use 3D, 4D, 5D sometimes, but just taking it a step further and going to six, I mean, that was that was pretty tricky. Um, it is constantly changing, and I think that's just what I love about the industry in general, is there's always something new, always something different. And so that's why I wanted to be involved with it as well, is it's great for me to learn from these people that I'm competing against and just be in the know of what's new and what's happening because it, it's constantly changing. I have three crazy kids. I have two boys and a girl and they are wild. Like I'm the one that if you're in the store and there's a mom and her kids are screaming and she like walks away, that's me. My kids are just crazy but we have so much fun and We just play. Here are the final volume lashes by Kelly, which will be judged and assessed. Hi, my name is Jennifer Mendez, and I've just taken part of the second round of Lash Wars. Before, I was actually just working as a office manager. So I wasn't really doing anything with eyelashes before I started working with Ruby. Getting those six lashes at once, it was it was nerve-wracking because your hand is like shaky the whole time. So I would I would just like to offer it to more clients, you know, and be able to have more clients come to me knowing that I do such a good job doing the volume technique. For sure the volume technique has changed the you know the way people see the eyelash extensions because 
before it was kind of more natural and now it's it's a fuller look where it looks like you're wearing you know a lot of mascara and a lot of people love it i'm just glad that they actually came up with nisa because we have a lot of people a lot of clients who go somewhere else and they get you know a horrible job done with nisa you know everything is going to be more secure more the client will be more comfortable going to a place knowing that you know they're certified in doing it the right way Hi, my name is Joy and I'm from Brisbane Lashes in Australia. I am so exhausted. I had almost no sleep last night. Started off not going to plan because I actually arrived an hour late and I left something at home that I really need for my volume fans. So I had to think of a brand new uh, technique to use at the competition. In the end it worked out fine. Probably could have done with an extra 20 minutes. I normally use double-sided tape and then I take off the lashes, put it on the double-sided tape and then spread them out. But I didn't bring the tape with me. I think they're gonna take over from classics because my own personal clients, it's probably about 90, 95% conversion to volume. So I just do volume all the time now. And the clients love them because they're softer and they're lighter and they tend to last a bit longer as well. Basically, I just wanted to hang out with other lash addicts like myself, and I thought it would be really fun to compete. There's no competitions in Australia yet, but I'd love to bring a competition to Australia. Yeah, I would love to. Besides lashes, I don't have any hobbies. That is my only hobby. Uh, so, if I'm not actually doing lashes, I'm on Facebook groups about lashes or forums about lashes. No one else understands that lashes is all I think about. I used to work seven days a week and do 11, 12 hour days, but no one should do that. It's very bad for you, so I can only work two to three days a week now, and I still do 11 hour days, but any more than that, my hands and neck just hate me. So right as we speak, my salon's being renovated and there's gonna be seven lash stations. Yeah, so it'll be eyelash salon and training school as well. At the moment, I'm running three-day and five-day uh, classic eyelash extension courses that go through everything that you need to know. I don't leave out, you know, classified stuff that I wouldn't tell anyone. So if you're my student, I pretty much tell you all my tips and tricks. Um, I also do volume training as well, and I do it Australia-wide. So um, how can people get in contact with you if they want to do training? Uh, they can go to my website, brisbanelashes.com, and there is a training tab they can click on and enter their information, and I'll send out all the course information to them. Here are Joy's final volume lashes. Her name is Anadia Afanasiwa, she represents the NNM Beauty, which is a new company in the United States, and I'm her assistant Katie, I'm going to be translating. So her company is very new, and since she comes from Russia, the, uh, the competition is very, very big, so she decided to move to America in order to expand her company. And the reason why she's actually sponsoring today's The Volume competition is because she wants to show what she has to offer. Also, she has a training school, which is very, very popular right now. A lot of students come and they want to learn the volume. So since, once again, there is a big competition in Russia, and in the United States, there is more room to expand. So this is the reason why. So she's been doing it for approximately five years, maybe a little bit more. The reason why she started because uh, she tried herself in a cosmetologist. 
kind of field and once she tried the eyelashes for the first time she was really amazed by it and she kind of found herself in that like it was her passion so she started off doing it and as you can see the, her products and all of her work is very amazing so this is her passion she found herself in that also, since she was a child, she really loved to like play around with little details, like facial details, kind of. She loved to draw eyes, she loved to draw like eyebrows, eyelashes. Eyes were her favorite part to draw, so this is how she kind of found herself. So my name is Bobby April and I'm from Perth, Western Australia. My uh, business is Indulge Lashes. I've been doing lashes for around four years. Bobby is using foam tape under the eyes. You can make custom iPads from medical tape. Bobby has planned out her lash sizes by writing them on the foam tape iPads. It was quite daunting but I did do training with Nadia the day before so that was daunting as well. <laughs> so. Yeah, um, there was things that I'd wanted to learn for a long time, just a certain style, and so I was really happy to learn that. And I actually did that in the comp, so it was good. When Nisa came out, I just, I really wanted to get involved with it because we don't really have anything back home like that. Um, and I think it's really important for the industry. Um, and just their really positive vibe, um, their inclusive nature was really good. So I'd really love to see um, Nisa in Australia, or something like this in Australia. Just for beauty therapists and estheticians, um, just to protect our industry basically, um, to protect the clients and, and us. Here are Bobby's final volume lashes. I'm Olga Zbrodina. I came from Canada, Ottawa to compete in Lash Wars. Yes, I came to Ottawa, to Canada five years ago from Russia. Uh, I own my own studio, Stylish Extensions, and I'm doing lashes for around three years. Oh, volume, I was trained around one year ago, but start making it more seriously, maybe around seven, eight months. Beginning I was uh, pretty nervous because uh, uh, I used to work in a quiet atmosphere, and it was totally different music around, people around, so it's pretty different and a little bit stressful. But after maybe 15 minutes, I felt not too bad, even posing to cameras around me. <laughs> I can't say that I am 100% less guru because I still need lots of practice. I don't feel super 100% that I am uh, like uh, perfect, perfect. I'm still always looking for new training, practicing a lot, but I work a lot, work hard, I have a big clientele, so practice a lot every day, six days a week, from morning till evening. Well, Olga, lashes is her world, it's <laughs> everything she does from morning to night, she, uh, she loves it and uh, it shows because, you know, she'll work a 10 hour day applying lashes to her clients. She'll come home and then she'll and they play on the <laughs> <laughs> and then she'll continue working. She'll be, you know, online researching, looking for new products, new uh, new, new training opportunities, events like this to come to. Yeah, it uh, and she loves it. Yeah, and it really shows. Here's Olga's volume lashes. My name is Martha LeCarrie, I'm from Boca Raton, Florida, and I competed in the Volume Lash category. I entered because I love lashing, it's all I do, I lash all day, when my kids are in bed I go online and read the lash forums and just live it, I love it, I love lashing. <laughs> I have an eight-year-old son and a four-year-old daughter and they both, you know, excited that I'm here and if you ask them what I do for a living they'll tell you I make women beautiful and 
and as soon as the client opens their eyes and they look in the mirror and just see their face light up and you know see how pleased they are with it and with me and how much more confident they are because of it, it's awesome. Like we saw with Amelia in volume round one, Martha looks like she is twisting or pinching the fan that she picks up off of the strip to help get the maximum fan width. I had an issue with my adhesive kept drying up because of the humidity and the temperature in my area, so I had to keep reapplying and it affected me, it slowed me down a little bit. There's too many people out, especially where I'm from, that lash that either shouldn't be lashing because they're not legally certified to or they just haven't got the proper training. They watch a video online and start lashing and, you know, think they can do it and, you know, think it needs to be regulated by people like me. So. Here are Martha's final volume lashes. I was feeling pretty confident until I saw the other girls work. One girl in particular, I could tell even from a quick glance how well her lashes went and I think she did really great so I think she's probably going to do pretty well tonight. I was actually really relieved that it was over because it's been, I've been so anxious for days. Um, yeah, it's been a crazy journey. Yeah. Um, I'm shooting for top six. You know, I feel like if your last is like, if you're on The Bachelor and you get cut the first night, so I just, top six is what I'm shooting for. I can't wait to see who wins all the categories actually. Yeah. I'm hoping to get something today, at least third place. <laughs> <laughs> I already feel like I won to do it and to be here. Um, I would be shocked actually if I won. Um, this opportunity was definitely more than just what you're going to bring home. Um, just the fact that I'm part of the first ever lash competition and just the fact that I was chosen period is awesome and I mean it's great. Win or lose, of course I'd love to win but it's still something that you know I can hang on the wall and be super proud of. You know it's just intense but I'm glad I did it. Yeah. So I've been lashing for about six years now. Uh, I initially did my training in Thailand, but it wasn't very good. So I had to work out a lot of things myself and it took a really long time to get to the stage where I am now and I just wish I was trained properly in the beginning so that I had a better success rate from day one rather than a year later or two years later. Um, so what are the challenges you've found, you know, you've experienced during the last six years of learning lashes? Uh, just tips and tricks of isolating, like the taping back is so good, makes things so much easier, um, curing the lashes so they don't have to wait 24 hours and using that silly blower, <laughs> yeah, so using the fan and the nebulizer help, definitely help with reactions as well. In your mind's eye, what is complete? full training for a new lasher? Uh, well I think it needs definitely to go for more than one or two days. Uh, you know they need to go through the hygiene, all the eye diseases and funk that can happen. Uh, what to do for different types of lashes that you experience, not just give you lessons on you know one type of lashes. Uh, what to happen if you what you should do if there's an allergic reaction or customer complaints, yeah, just stuff like that. Not just, this is how you put them on, now go and do 20 sets and get good. Yeah, and go, go, work it out yourself, good luck. What's really stood out over the last six years for you? Uh, probably when I started to get fully booked and I was always in demand constantly, that's when I knew, yep, this is awesome. I didn't actually think when I started out that I'd be doing this today. I thought it was just a side hobby, just doing it for my friends and my mum. But then it started to slowly take over my life and 
just can't get it off my mind now. I'm obsessed. <laughs> How do you think that you have become, you know, quite popular being a lash artist? Uh, consistency. I'm really consistent. I don't, even if I'm having a bad day, you still have to do good lashes. Even if you do a few less, you just, they always have to be good. You know, how do you, how do people find out about you? Uh, mostly online and through word of mouth. I don't have any signage outside my salon at all. Uh, I have done that deliberately so I don't get people walking by and messing with my lash mojo when I'm working on clients. Thinking about that new lash artist uh, that, or eyelash extension tech just learned eyelash extensions, maybe been doing them a couple of weeks, really frustrated, feeling like, what the hell am I in here? What advice would you give them? Just keep practicing as much as possible. Um, if you just do one set a week, you'll never get good. You just need to do days and days of lashing all the time. Otherwise, it's really hard to pick up if you leave it the sets too far apart. It's definitely the biggest tip. And just be patient as well. It's not easy. <laughs> Everyone tells me when I do lashes, oh, it looks so easy when you do it. I'm like, I've been doing this a lot. I've applied over 10,000 sets or refills. I mean... Yeah, it's quite different when you pick up tweezers and you have to do something so minute for the first time. Yeah. After the contestants have left their workstations, their blind judges come through to judge their work. They go through looking for stickies, for symmetry, for length, and also make sure that the design suits the model's eyes. find out who won each category of the battles, stay tuned for the next episode of Lash Wars, the after party and the awards. Subscribe to Galaxy Dreaming to keep up to date. Life is short, your lashes don't have to be. Thank you to all of our web series sponsors. For more information or to register for an upcoming Lash Wars event, log in to www.nisa.org. You can also find Nisa via www.lashwars.com.